Hi everybody, it's Belinda from Belinda's Book Nook, and I'm here with a different kind of video. One thing you guys know about me is that I like audiobooks. Um, I do ebooks, I do traditional, regular, you know, print books, and I love audiobooks. And I love the audiobooks because you can move around, right? Um, and you could be doing things like if I'm doing dishes or if I'm gardening or, you know, whatever, working, sometimes working, depends. Um, I can listen to an audiobook. But another thing that I absolutely love to do is to take out this and or this. And these are my colored pencils. I use my colored pencils. Um, this is my other case here. Uh, I have different kinds of colored pencils that I use um, to color in coloring books. And it's so relaxing. Um, and I have every color under the rainbow, you can imagine. Um, but it's so relaxing to do. And, you know, I'm kind of coloring along listening to the story. Um, and the time goes by and at the end I have, you know, I usually don't finish unless I'm at the end of a, of a picture. Um, but I like to do that. And so I thought for Black History Month, I would share with you some coloring books that have people of color in them. It is just like everything else, very hard to find those things. Um, and so when I do find them, I kind of covet them. So, so here are some of the books that I got. I'll start off first with Oh my goodness, I'm gonna fall over. Um, I'll start off with this first one. And this first one, a, a friend of mine gave this to me. She gave me another one, which I can't find it, which makes me mad because I wanted to show it in here. This is a Dover coloring book. And this one is by Peter F. Copeland. And it's the story of the Underground Railroad. And this is the picture on the cover. And there's a picture in the back. And then these are how the pages look. And they have, um, information, you know, telling you various aspects with regards to slavery. Um, I have some other pencils that I just got that I want to try for skin tones um, because I don't really particularly do a lot of people. So I definitely want to play around and find what I'm most comfortable with um, with regards to coloring it. But this one is a really cool one. And there was another one. I don't know if it mentions back here. No. So I thought this would be a great one. It's Black History Month for to show you guys if you're looking or if you know somebody that's looking. This is also great for kids, not just adults, um, because it's got facts in it, but then they can color it as well. Another company that's really big, um, that they produce um, a lot of coloring books and they're called Creative Haven. What I like about these coloring books, and you'll learn as you, you uh, go along, you'll know what paper works best with your pencils. I have um, a variety of pencils. These are only two that I brought here, but I have um, Prismacolors for the professional grade and I have um, Polychromos and, and they're very different types of pencils and they respond differently to different paper. I also have um, alcohol markers called Copics that I use. Uh, I find that Creative Haven books are very great, like in terms of prices, economically speaking, you can get them five, six dollars. Um, it's They're very inexpensive. And what I like about them is that you're able to use a variety of mediums on it. So I can use um, pencil and I could use, um, you know, colored pencils and I could use markers in here. And then I sometimes I'll just put markers and lay pencil on top of it. But this is, um, this is like, this is the cover of it. And this one is called African Glamour. And I really love that they give you at least a picture or two to give you some, some kind of inspiration. This one even does one inside, so you can see this one. Um, oh, yeah, here's another one too that they have, this one here. Um, I love that one a lot. So yeah, it's got lots of different images here. You know, you also get will get used to like, do you like things with a lot of space or little tiny spaces? Some people get stressed about having very tiny spaces. Now these are these three are I got for Christmas time and I have not touched them yet but there's different kinds of coloring books you can get you can also get what's called a grayscale and this one is a grayscale one it's called Fantastic Beauties Adult Coloring Book 
by Demita. Oh, I didn't see the artist on this one. The artist, I'm sorry, on the African Glamour is by Marjorie Sarnat and C.S. Slater. Those are the artists. And when you start looking into them, you can find that the artists might um, have a couple of different books. So this one is Fantastic Beauty's Adult Coloring Book by Demita Victoria. And this is the cover. Look at the cover. Oh my God, right? So cool. And the back shows you kind of a summary of many of them. This is book two. There's another book as well. Um, a grayscale looks like this. So the pages aren't just white and black. There's literally gray in there. Um, so it will affect the coloring, but um, I think in a positive light. This one does a page behind it, so you don't have to worry also if you decide to use markers. I don't know on this paper. I haven't tested it yet. It doesn't feel to me like it's going to be one I want to use pen, um, markers on. I would probably just strictly use pencils on this. But they're just really gorgeous um, pictures to color while you're, you know, you're listening to the book. And it's got black women in it, which is really exciting. This one I really like. This one is called Exhale, a self-care coloring book, and it's by Latoya Nicole. And it looks like that. And let's see a couple pages in here, like this one here. Like I need to do this one when I'm reading like a Caribbean or listening to a Caribbean book, You're right? So while they're describing, I can just, you know, kind of visualize myself there on that hammock. Um, it's really nice. They're just, you know, images of black women doing everyday things, you know, taking care of themselves. Um, I love it. Let me see, yeah. Um, yeah, there's another one. Nope. I love that t-shirt. I need a t-shirt like that. Nope. <laughs> Just a day of nopes. So then the last one I have is called Women in Patterns and Plants. And if you know me well, you know I love plants. So I was like, oh, this is going to be great. And look at the cover of it. Look at that. And this one, I, did I say it was by? Serena Mantle. And look at the back. The back is gorgeous too. Oh my God. And then this picture inside. Hello. So pretty. Here's another one on the back. And those are, you know, I mean, in, in this one, I think if you're really comfortable, this has a lot of open space. Like, so it's not a lot of fine, you know, um, stuff. This one's got a lot, but they're big spaces to color. Um, and it looks like it has kind of like a journaling stuff over here. I love this one too. So I can't wait to get started in these. Like I said, I got these over Christmas time. Um, and then I had one that was gifted to me from a friend. But it's um, another fun thing. I don't know what you guys do when you listen to audiobooks. Do you do, you do something else? Are you um, just sitting in a chair and just listening to it? Or do you color? Um, or do you, um, you know, what do you do? Are you doing it at work? I'm curious to see other people, but that's one of the things I do like to do is to pair those two together. Cause at the end I feel so relaxed, you know, cause I'm focused on this and I'm listening to what they're saying and it's just a nice time. So I thought I'd bring that to you. They are books. So technically it is books. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well and I will check in with you guys later. Bye.